Hey everyone, my name is Elaine. I'm the book blogger behind Utopia State of Mind and today I'm going to share with you this haul which is kind of difficult to show you but here it is. Also, um, I'm just going to warn you in advance. I um, have a dishwasher running and I was going to do it a different time but I have probably, it's winter time now, I have probably um, 10 minutes of light left so we're spending the last 10 minutes of light together and I'm sorry in advance for all the noises you'll hear from the dishwasher. Just pretend it's white noise, I guess. Um, so I was able to go... First of all, let me just start off with Orbit sent me a copy of The World We Make. This is the sequel to <laughs> The City We Became. Um, I love N.K. Jemisin's work so much. I really, really loved The City We Became. So I'm really excited for this one. I actually listened to The City We Became on audiobook, which I would highly recommend. The accents on it are fantastic. Even though they're all like New York City accents, each one of them is so different. And I think it's really important to hear that. Like it really brings flavor and dimension to the text. So I will be reading this, but also maybe bouncing between the audiobook and this copy. But I'm just so excited to dive into this one. I think this is a trilogy as well. No, sorry, it's a duology. I remember it being announced as a trilogy, but I think that actually is, this is the end, it is a duology. So on the next month, when my Libro FM credits roll over, or when I get a new one, I will be getting the audiobook of The World We Make. Next, I went to a used book store and I picked up a bunch of books. Um, so I wanted to just go through them with you all. Um, now and that's the end of the haul right after that so that you know it's not like before where I have like publisher publisher fairly whatever like that just <laughs> used books and that one review copy so let me just start off with probably what is the most exciting I guess for me is I was able to pick up all five of these Percy Jackson books um, I've never read Percy Jackson so when I saw that they had the lightning thief I was like oh I'm pretty sure this is the first this was I had to like take out all the books and arrange them on the table because um, luckily here it did say which books there were so I think this is all of them. The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, and The Battle of the Labyrinth and also I think yeah so these five. Hopefully that's right. Please let me know in the comments if that's wrong. I also know that there's like this series which is what is it called? The Percy Jackson series but then there's also like the Heroes of Olympus and their other series but I, this is the OG right like can someone please who has read all of these Percy Jackson world kind of things let me know if I've done this right um these used like book things it's always kind of like you have to could just take the books you think you want because other people are looking at the same time and so I grabbed them all but I'm really worried that I've made a mistake and I was really kind of confused about the different series and there are other books like by Rick Riordan and so I don't know I was just I was confused and hopefully this is right so that was what I was most excited for because I think if I'm right there are all five and it, I feel like that's a rare find um the other ones let me just like hmm, let me organize this by I guess like mini stories to tell I guess okay so the first is that I picked up a copy of The Book Thief. I've heard so much about The Book Thief. It shows up all the times in these like classic books to read and sort of, I, I don't know, I've seen this everywhere and recently someone just like re-recommended it to me. So I did pick up finally a copy of The Book Thief, which I never had, never read. So I'm interested to read this um, to figure out kind of what the hype is about. So if you've read this and you have thoughts, please let me know below because yeah, it's, I just, I don't have any, I don't know. I don't know. Um, just the hype is all I know. The next one is a copy of My Sister, The Serial Killer, which I feel like I saw on Bookstagram a lot when it released, and I feel like I also saw Katie from The Shrieking Stack talk about this on Bookstagram, and also I think when we were, when we saw each other last. So I saw this one. It was, of course, like, missorted. I feel like all these used book things, that's the, the sort of, joy and the downfall right things are sorted not very well because if you haven't read it you don't necessarily know if it what genre it is what age group it is so this was i think in just kind of like i want to say it was in general slash romantic fiction and it's like 
Um, I don't know. I would, I'd wish that it was organized differently, I guess. But anyway, that's why I picked up this one. I also saw this copy of The Shadow of the Wind, and I could have sworn, which I can't find now, I could have sworn I saw someone on TikTok talking about this. I looked up the author um, when I was at the book um, like sale thing, and I thought I saw that, you know, people that I was friends with on Goodreads had also liked this and or were reading it, you know, like, people people that I know had interacted with this book. So this was probably of the ones here that I hauled. Um, the one that I'm most like, I thought I heard something, but I don't know, kind of vibe for this one. So I am intrigued to see uh, how this goes. And also I did read the back and I thought it was really cool. It, there is about a library. So I was kind of like instantly yes, instant yes. The next one is a copy of The Mercies. First of all, this is a really gorgeous cover. I feel like this author, Kieran Millwood Hargrave, is one that I've seen a lot. What are the other... Whoa. Use book alert. What are the other books this author has written? Is The, Merc the Mercies can't be the first one. I don't know. It doesn't necessarily say. But um, I feel like I've seen this author around a lot. And so... It was one of those things where I like grabbed it and I was kind of like, oh, I recognize this. This is really pretty. I should give it a try. Um, and so, yeah, if you've read this and you have thoughts, please let me know. I, don't, I know nothing about this except that the author, it's has, has a blurb from Madeline Miller um, who wrote Song of Achilles and Circe. So intrigued by it in general. And the final one that I bought is I bought a copy of The Raven Tower um, from Orbit. I feel like I saw this ages ago and actually I feel like I may have a pin related to the Raven Tower that I got in an Orbit mailing, but I don't have a copy of the Raven Tower. So I picked this one up um, not only because I recognized Orbit and also I recognized the name and the title and everything, but I also that the name only finally just clicked for me as the same person who wrote Ancillary Justice, which I'm pretty sure has been one that keeps getting recommended to me as like a sci-fi book I should read. So I was kind of like, oh, that is that person. That that makes sense to me now. So um, I think this is fantasy though, not sci-fi. But anyway, I thought, I'm pretty sure this is a fairly recent release. So I'm pretty sure I was just like, oh, I'm interested in this author. I love Orbit. Might as well just try it. And so yeah, that is all of the books, or the, those are all the books that I hauled. Um, I... I'm very wary about Percy Jackson, not because I don't think I like it, just because the fandom is so um, strong and intense and I feel, would feel really bad, I guess, if I don't like it. But I'm intrigued the most by these and so I am I want to, in 2023, read these. I'm thinking about doing a video for next year where I talk about books that I want to read in 2023. Not a strict TBR, not a like what I've been doing in the past, which is like, 12 friends, 12 books, 12 authors, 12 books. Instead, it's just what kind of a more flexible, forgiving idea. Um, and so this will definitely be on that list if I do that video. Uh, and I'll have to think about other ones where I'm like, oh yeah, I really want to read this one. I want to finally get back into a series. I want to, you know, break into a new one. And I also have some interesting ideas that are kind of like percolating in my brain about video ideas I want to do. Obviously, for 2023, they'll also be the best of 2022. And I know that, for example, last year, that ended up being a huge series because I broke it down by genre. And I'm going to do that again because I think it's really very hard for me to break down kind of my 10 top favorites or even my 22 top favorites. Maybe I'll try to do the series where I break it down by genre, but also 22 top books of 2022. Ugh. It's already like breaking my heart. Um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna close off the sneak peek of sort of videos that are coming in the future. And yeah, that was all the books that I have to haul for you today. And I hope you have a really great rest of your reading day, week, month, or year, whatever is left of it. And I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully one of the things that I've just mentioned. All right, bye.